Hey guys, welcome back to another ASMR mukbang eating show. Today I have some pumpkin spice pancake, strawberries, bacon, and some yummy coffee. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I got something new here. I decided to create my own pumpkin spice keto pancake and oh my god i have tried this already before and it turns out so delicious so basically it's whoops basically it's two eggs two ounces of cream cheese a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin spice and a little capful of vanilla extract you mix it all together in your blender you fry it up in some butter and you guys, it's heavenly. It's so good. Way better than my original um, keto pancake recipe. And I got some cut up strawberries. I have some bacon. And I'm sorry I cannot tilt my plate today for you guys to see the food because the syrup will completely drip off the plate. So, And I have some keto coffee here. This is um, community coffee, dark roast with sugar-free hazelnut creamer i use the coffee mate brand the powdered one oh so good mm. perfect <laughs> mm. wow such good bacon Oh, and for the syrup, I use sugar-free log cabin. Oh my God. Because you know, tis the season for everything pumpkin spice. <laughs> wow, you guys. Just, wow, you have to try this recipe. Mmm. It's the simplest thing to make in the world. So good. Mmm. Listen to that crunchy bacon. Mmm. It's perfect. These strawberries are amazing. They're super fresh. My friend Barbara from church brought them over last night because we had a dinner here at my house. And she knows that I love strawberries. So do the boys. The boys love strawberries. Um, well, it's one of the only fruits that I'm able to eat on keto, so... Actually, before keto, my favorite fruit was always bananas. <laughs> but yeah, she always gets these. I think she goes to this um, grocery store that's called Milam. And she always finds the most freshest strawberries there mm -mm. I love it and with the syrup is so good mm. yum I love that coffee. It's so good, you guys. Mm. I love 
pumpkin everything. Like seriously. My all time favorite season is approaching and you guys have no idea how stoked I am. <laughs> I love love all things pumpkin. And now I'm going to start experimenting with a lot of pumpkin flavored stuff for keto because really we don't have to miss out. <laughs> We don't. I already got my pumpkin spice pancakes. I'm gonna see if I could make some keto friendly pumpkin bread. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure with almond flour, I could make it happen. <laughs> I love all the flavors that I got going in here. <laughs> I mean, even the bacon with like the maple syrup is amazing. So good, you guys. Mm. You know, honestly, I think from now on, I'm gonna make my pancakes like this all year long, <laughs> all year round. Mm. It doesn't have to be fall. For me to make pumpkin stuff oh no way <laughs> i just love it i really do mm. well technically it's not fall yet till september 23rd but <laughs> mm. i can't wait you guys i'm so excited for halloween Like, I already want to start decorating. The reason why I haven't is because I'm trying to get some stuff done first. So ever since we moved to this house, I still got all my boxes in the back room with all my Halloween decorations and my fall stuff. And I want to go to the store. Like, I want to go to Dollar Tree. I want to go to Spirit Halloween. Never been in, in one of those stores. And I recently found out where there's a location. And I want to buy new new things, you know. New Halloween decorations. Um, fall. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And my fireplace is going to look so nice. I always, always dreamed of having a house with a real fireplace. And now I finally do. Oh my God. I cannot wait to decorate my fireplace for Halloween and fall. <laughs> you guys, it's going to be so exciting. Mm. Oh my God, I'm loving these strawberries. Mm. Awesome coffee, too. I love this coffee. Now I buy it a lot. Community coffee. It's a lot like diner coffee. I like the breakfast blend. They have special cafe blend, breakfast blend, and dark roast. Normally, I don't like strong coffees or dark, but... And that's all they had. Usually I love the breakfast blend. But they didn't. They ran out so I just got the dark roast. But it's still really good. I love diner style coffees like that. That are like very mild. But so good. Awesome flavor. Mmm. 
all gone <laughs> and that was so good you guys you have to try this pancake I always say this even if you're not doing keto if you don't follow my lifestyle this is something that everybody could eat it's just like it's a treat it's so delicious it's um it's something that you can have regardless of whether you do keto or not because it's so good like that but like I said I'm gonna repeat the recipe again it's super easy to make you guys and if you have like a little blender a bullet or something you whip it up so fast but here are the ingredients again two eggs two ounces of cream cheese a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin spice and a little capful of vanilla extract that's it you blend it all together what I do is because my batter always breaks in the frying pan and instead of like pancake it looks more like scrambled eggs <laughs> or scrambled pancake so what I do is that I put it in a, in a plastic microwavable bowl for two minutes and it heats up and then the batter turns into like a, a spongy type pancake. Then I fry, I put some butter in my frying pan and I just brown both sides until it's the color I like it. And oh my God, you guys. And you put your little sugar-free syrup on top and you have the most delicious pumpkin spice pancake you will ever try you guys it's so so good the next thing I want to invest on is a waffle iron because I love waffles haven't had waffles in ages and I see everybody now on keto doing what they call shaffles and I want to try them but I need to get myself a waffle iron I've also been thinking of doing my keto pancake recipe and using that batter for my keto waffles so let's see i'm gonna experiment with it when i get a, a waffle iron and see how it turns out but i'm excited about that i'm excited about creating new recipes and doing my own thing i love to watch other people do recipes as well and get ideas but i love creating i love making my uh own recipes and trying out new things and i'm super excited for this fall season because i'm gonna come up with a lot of yummy keto friendly fall foods for keto and mostly comfort foods because around fall and winter you know everybody loves that comfort food where it makes you feel nice and warm and oh I'm gonna do so many yummy keto friendly recipes for you guys oh I can't wait mmm all right oh my god this was like perfect you guys oh my god the flavors were amazing like i can't stress it enough like the flavors of the pancake the the crunchy bacon with the mixed with the syrup even the strawberries with the syrup is like amazing and the flavor of the coffee perfection this was seriously a good breakfast i enjoyed it so much i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did as always stay tuned for more i hope you guys got to eat something super yummy along with me and i will see you all in my next video all right guys bye bye